A special thanks to Tommy and Yogi One Kenobi as my new Admiral patrons. Classical mechanics is a branch of physics that describes the motion of macroscopic objects. Of particular importance to us are spaceships and the projectiles they fire. Star Citizen's flight model obeys the laws of classical mechanics in many ways and in just as many abandons them. Understanding classical mechanics is critical to comprehending the theory behind the many maneuvers and combat tactics that will be described. Furthermore, knowledge of classical mechanics will help you decide when to switch between maneuvers and logical ways and the unpredictable turns a dogfight can take. Let's start with some foundational definitions adapted for spaceflight. Position is where an object is located at a given moment. Translation, also known as displacement, is a change in the position of an object. Speed is the rate at which an object is translating, measured as the amount of translation per unit time. In Star Citizen, this is meters per second. Speed is a scalar quantity, meaning it is only a magnitude with no direction. Velocity is a vector quantity. It is a speed combined with the direction an object is translating. Your velocity is displayed by two HUD elements, the speedometer and the direction indicator. Direction will from here on be referred to as course. Acceleration is the change in velocity, which can be a change in speed, a change in direction, or both simultaneously. The magnitude of acceleration is displayed in the HUD as multiples of g which is the freefall acceleration on Earth ignoring air resistance. 1g is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second, or 9.8 meters per second squared. This means that an object accelerating in a single direction at 1g from a stationary position will reach a speed of 9.8 meters per second after the first second, and will reach a speed of 19.6 meters per second after the next second. Force is what causes objects to accelerate. In a ship, thrusters produce thrust, a force which causes ships to accelerate. Force is equal to mass times acceleration, so acceleration is equal to force over mass. The acceleration of a ship is directly proportional to the thrust, and inversely proportional to its mass. This is intuitively obvious. Smaller ships tend to accelerate more quickly, and larger ships need more powerful thrusters to achieve decent maneuverability. Maneuverability is the degree to which a ship can accelerate and alter its existing velocity. The Six Degrees of Freedom Star Citizen's flight model is often described as six degrees of freedom, but what does this mean? The six degrees of freedom of motion are divided into two categories, translational and rotational. The translational degrees of freedom describe the ability of a ship to change its position. The three translational degrees of freedom are forward and back, left and right, and up and down. The ship controls corresponding to these are forward and reverse thrust, up and down or vertical strafe, and left and right or horizontal strafe, respectively. Throttle as a means of describing forward and reverse thrust is a misnomer. Why will be explained in the Intelligent Flight Control System lesson. The rotational degrees of freedom describe the ability of a ship to change its orientation, henceforth referred to as attitude. These three rotational degrees of freedom are pitch and yaw and roll. The present state of your pitch and yaw will be referred to as heading and the present state of your roll will be described as banking angle. Changing the direction the nose is pointing will be referred to as turning from here on and is accomplished with pitching and yawing. In an airplane, Turning the nose will usually change the direction the plane flies, but in a spaceship, this is not necessarily so. If a ship is in motion, the present direction of motion will be referred to as its course. A spaceship can change course in many ways other than bringing the nose into the desired direction, in contrast to an airplane. Because of this, we must have separate terms for turning of the nose and for turning of the ship's present direction of flight, referred to as course. Nose turning will simply be referred to as turning, while changing course will be referred to as veering. In an example of an isolated turn, the ship's nose will turn, but the course will remain constant. This can be accomplished by applying forward thrust and turning left, but strafing right as the turn is initiated. Alternatively, 
Turning while the ship is at zero speed and is not translating is another example of an isolated turn. In an example of an isolated veer, the ship's nose will maintain a constant attitude, but left strafe will be applied to veer left and change course leftward. In a combined veer and turn, forward thrust will be applied while the nose turns so the thrust is always applied in the direction the ship is pointing. This changes both the attitude and the course. Here is a table summarizing what we have discussed. Check your understanding. If you strafe right at 100 meters per second, do a 180 degree roll, and then strafe left 100 meters per second, which of the following changed? Choose all that apply. The answer is B and C, attitude and banking angle. 2. You are flying 100 meters per second forward. You turn 90 degrees left and then strafe right at 100 meters per second. Which of the following changed? Choose all that apply. The answer is B and D, attitude and heading. 3. If you strafe right, do a 180 degree roll, and then strafe left, which of the following did you perform? Choose all that apply. The answer is D, angular acceleration. Four, you are flying 100 meters per second forward. You turn your ship 90 degrees left, and continue applying forward thrust to maintain 100 meters per second of speed. Which of the following did you perform? Choose all that apply. The answer is all of the above. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon if you enjoy my videos. Also, please consider visiting my Patreon page if you'd like to graciously support my future content and earn some cool rewards as a special thank you. If you're interested in the controllers I use and what my curve settings are, please check the description. There you'll also find affiliate links if you'd like to purchase the controllers and support me at no extra cost. If you're looking for a friendly PvP community where skilled pilots offer training opportunities, join the Lycosars PvP Academy Discord link below. If you're interested in joining an elite group of freedom fighters dedicated to combating the tyranny of the UEE and its allies, check out my org's website, libertiesreapers.net. See you in the next one, pilots. Lycosar out.